Hello everybody, welcome to the Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya. I am Ms. Bai, your maths educator and we are over here to do 5 MCQ questions on the chapter real numbers. So let's start with it. So the very first question over here is the LCM of two prime numbers P and Q where P is greater than Q is 323. You have to find the value of 3P minus Q over here. So how will you do this? So see, the two prime numbers are over here. P and Q over here are prime numbers, right? They are prime numbers. So what is the LCM of two prime numbers, guys? The LCM of two prime numbers will be equal to the product of the numbers itself. This is equal to P into Q over here, right? And the LCM is already given that is 323. So this is 3, 2, 3 over here, right? Now if you will do the prime factorization of 3, 2, 3, what will you get? C. So the prime factorization of this will be, it is 17 into 19. This is 17 into 19. So what can we say that P into Q is equal to 17 into 19. Now you see over here, it is given that P is greater than Q. So you see P into Q is 17 into 19 and P is greater than Q. So there is no other possibility but to take P is equal to 19 and q is equal to 17. I hope it is clear. Now we have to find the value of 3p minus q. So let us put over here. So 3 into uh, 19 minus q over here is 17. So let's simplify this and get the answer. So this is 57 minus 17 and this is equal to 40. So therefore we can say that 40 is the answer. That is option D. Okay, so I hope it is clear. Let us take the next question. Very simple question. One of the most important questions you can say. If two positive integers a and b are written as a is equal to x raised to the power 5 into y raised to the power 7 and b is equal to x raised to the power 6 y cube where x and y are prime numbers. It's, auto, it's written over here that an x, x and y are prime numbers. So you have to find the LCM. Now how do you find LCM guys? The very first thing is to take every prime number involved in all of the numbers. So the prime numbers over here are x and y. So you have to take x and y over here, right? And then you have to take the highest power of x and y. So you see x raised to the power 5, x raised to the power 6. So you'll take x raised to the power 6 over here. In the same manner, y raised to the power 7 and y raised to the power 3. So you'll take y raised to the power 7. Therefore, the LCM is x raised to the power 6, y raised to the power 7. So, option D is correct over here. So, this was LCM. Suppose in the same question, HCF is asked. What will you do in this case? So, the same thing over here, let us find HCF. So, again, HCF means you have to take common factor. It is highest common factor. So, the common factors over here are x and y. Clear? Common factors are x and y. Now you have to take the least power of x. So you see x raised to the power 5, x raised to the power 6. So you have to take x raised to the power 5. In the same manner it is y raised to the power 7 and y raised to the power 3. So you will have to take the least power of y that is y raised to the power 3. Therefore the HCF over here is x raised to the power 5 and y raised to the power 3. So this type of question is already asked in previous year questions and is given in the sample papers as well. So let us take the next question in this chapter. The LCM of two numbers is given, their HCF is given, then you have to find the value of x. So you see LCM is given, HCF is given. Now you know this property, that product of two numbers, the numbers over here is x and 18, the product of two numbers is equal to the product of their LCM and HCF. This property you already know, clear? Now what is the LCM? It is 36, HCF is 2. So you will get 36 into 2 over here. So what is the value of x over here guys? x is 36 into 2 by 18. So what is this equal to? 4. Now the options are not directly given. x is equal to 4 it is coming. The options are the least prime number. What is the least prime number? The least prime number is 2, right? So this is not the answer. 8 is not the answer. 6 is not the answer. The least composite number is what guys? 4. The least composite number is 4. Therefore, option D is correct. I hope it is clear. 
Okay, so let us take the next question over here. The LCM of two numbers is given. Their HCF is also P over here. Then a possible value of P you have to find. LCM is 36 and HCF is P of two numbers. Then you have to find a possible value. Obviously, you cannot find the exact value of P over here. But you can find a possible value out of the given options. So you have studied that HCF of two numbers is every time a factor of the LCM, right? HCF of two numbers is every time a factor of their LCM. Or you can say LCM of two numbers is every time a multiple of their HCF, right? So over here you see LCM is 36. So out of the given options, HCF that is equal to P has to be a factor of 36. So out of the given options, you see 7, 5, 6, 11. So you see over here, only 6 is a factor of 36. So this is a possible value of P. I hope it is clear to you guys. So that's all we needed to take in this chapter, real numbers.